Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage, Vice President for Student Affairs, Rick Hall. Good evening, good evening. Louder than that. Thank you, thank you. Good evening and welcome to Family Weekend and our annual Brown and White Barbecue. And as they exit the stage, please give it up one more time for the Marching 97, the finest band east of all points west. Thanks, y'all. Also, thank you. Where's DJ Mazid? All right, tip your hat. He is a sophomore from Lagos, Nigeria, majoring in economics with real estate and computer science minors. 
Go ahead. All right. We have much in store this evening. We are going to be unveiling the class of 2023 numbers. Don't forget, if you haven't already, to pick up your brown and white striped socks. Now, trust me, I'm, I'm standing here talking about socks. But trust me, if you don't have those socks and someone walking past you is wearing them, you're going to think, I should have listened to him and got my brown and white socks. So make it a point to pick up your socks. And again, stick around for the unveiling of the numbers. And we also have a big announcement that you're going to want to hear about. Now, at this point, I usually go around and we ask that the students applaud their parents for coming to see them and spending time during family weekend. We're not going to do that. Instead, we are at the end of four weeks of classes. And our students, your students, have been absolutely knocking it out the park. They're going to class. They're starting. Yeah, give it up. Give it up for our students, parents. They have started this semester in a positive way with a great bang. Excellent. We expect no less from Lehigh students, though. All right. We're going to keep it moving quickly, and I would like to in invite to the stage some very important and dedicated, committed parents. These are the co-chairs of our Parents' Council, Garrett and Karen Baum. They're going to say a few words, but first, a couple words about them. Karen and Garrett, they are the proud parents of Jordan, who graduated in May, and also Alex, who just started this semester as a sophomore. They have been members of Lehigh's Parents Council for four years, and we are fortunate that they accepted the call to co-chair the Parents Council this year. Garrett is a managing partner of Urban Frontier, a real estate company in Denver, Colorado, where they live. Please join me in welcoming Garrett and Karen to the stage. Well, thank you, Rick Hall. Wow. And uh, what a great day to be here. This is uh, its just incredible. Um, you know, many of you were students here, and uh, many have had students here. But for those of you that are new to Lehigh, uh, whether you're your parents or students, we, as Rick mentioned, had had four just glorious years. And it's been incredible. And uh, it goes so fast. So get involved. Enjoy your time while you're here. I know your students will. And uh, with that, I want to let Karen share our uh, Lehigh story. <laughs> wow, what a great day. Um, don't go too far. <laughs> um, I'll just get right down to it, because there's a lot going on today. Um, it's such a great pleasure to stand before you and share a few words about our experience of being parents of Lehigh student. To sum it up, we've made some amazing memories and met some absolutely fantastic people. Um, being from Colorado, Lehigh was not well known, but it checked all the boxes for our oldest son, Jordan, who we just spoke about, who recently graduated. We couldn't be prouder of all of his hard work and achievements. And we can all agree Lehigh is a special place, combining amazing school spirit, top tier academics, endless choices of activities and events, and a long, long list of clubs and organizations to choose from. Jordan quickly felt comfortable calling Lehigh his home. But together as a family, we discovered something very important that evolved over the last four years. That Lehigh provides an incredible sense of family and community with numerous opportunities for connection. It's the intangible piece that sometimes gets overlooked on the list of importance. Connection is a big part of who we are as a family. And as parents, we weren't quite ready to just drop off our son and show up four years later to his graduation. It was important for us to somehow stay connected 
with Jordan without smothering him. Every few days, I would ask Garrett, did you hear from Jordan yet? And he would smile and say, nope. I thought to myself, well, this is a good sign. Early on, we began developing our own relationship with the school by joining the parents' council. We quickly found ourselves welcomed with warmth and enthusiasm from the staff and parents within the council. Attending many events on and off campus brought us closer into this tight-knit community, helping us develop our own connection with Lehigh. Feeling strongly about our family's experience and belief in the Lehigh's vision, we began discussions to support various programs we're passionate about. Recently, Garrett was given the opportunity to become a guest speaker at the Real Estate Club, and I would say he's very excited to offer his knowledge and become a mentor to the students. While on campus, we would always invite Jordan's friends and their families to dinners share some laughs while standing side by side, singing karaoke at Molly's or play pool at Grog. It allowed us to understand why he loved this place so much and cherished his friendships. Turning to the next Lehigh chapter as parents, we're so proud of our younger son, Alex, for making a decision to transfer to Lehigh this fall. As I compiled these last words a few days ago, he FaceTimed me. He was sitting in his dorm room and I saw a big smile and he said, Mom, I am so happy. I've met some really great people and I like my classes. Well, as a parent, that is exactly what you want to hear. You want to hear they have found their place and that place is where they can proudly call their home. We're looking forward to the years ahead and adding to an already full treasure chest of memories. Thank you, Lehigh. Now, it's our great pleasure to welcome Lehigh's 15th president, Joseph Helbley. He came to us from Dartmouth College where he served as provost. He is a proud Lehigh alumnus class of 1982. Joe, oops, sorry, Joe. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Garrett. Families, how are you doing? All right, it's so great to be able to stand here and see all of you. And, and let me just ask you all, take a minute and look around and soak this in. As Karen said, I'm a Lehigh alumnus, and so I had the great privilege of spending four years here as a student, and now the privilege of being back for a little over a year as the president. And as I have gotten to know the student community over the past year plus, one of the things I'm asked most often is what's changed and what stayed the same. Look around at this view, this incredible view, this iconic view. This beauty has been such an important part of this campus from the very beginning. I've said to students that if you stood here in the front of this lawn and looked around, you wouldn't know what year you were in. The university has intentionally preserved this architecture, preserved this space as a gathering place for the campus, and we often see it used in just this way by our students and members of the community to, to come together and enjoy one another. So take it in. I hope you have a, a moment or two to enjoy it. I want to welcome our families, our students and their families, their parents and siblings. I hope you have the chance to get out and enjoy some time together this weekend and get to enjoy this campus and the surroundings. It's wonderful for me to have all of you back here continuing this tradition of the barbecue. When I'm standing on a stage speaking to people about Lehigh, there are three things I almost always speak about. One is this incredible place, the incredible beauty, the challenge of the hills, and the strength we draw from this campus in the hills. The strong academics that characterize opportunity for all of our students and have for generations. And this incredible sense of community. 
The community was a central part of my experience as a student. The community is a central part of this Lehigh experience today. Ask your students, ask your sons and daughters, ask your children to tell you a story about the friends they've met. Ask them to tell you about the faculty and staff they've interacted with, and I guarantee you they will find, even those students who are just here for their first year, that those relationships are growing and are rich. Every student speaks about the friends that they make. Everyone speaks about the faculty who inspire them. Everyone speaks about the possibilities they find here. Now, one of the things I have to say, since I always make a, a comment about academics, and here I'm enlisting you families, you the parents, your help, is please encourage your students, your children, your sons and daughters to take a little bit of academic risk. Step outside their comfort zone, challenge themselves by taking something that they never thought they would have an interest in. I promise you their experience will be the richer for it. I promise you that their employment prospects will be even better because of it. I promise you that stretching yourself broadly at the same time that you challenge yourself deeply will pay dividends over and over and over again. It's what I'd speak about every time I see students and I'd ask for your help in spreading that message as well. The last thing I want to say is coming back to where I began, this incredible sense of place. You're sitting here on the lawn in front of our iconic building, Packer Hall, was in fact the very first building completed for Lehigh instruction in 1868. It's been in continuous use ever since. It's been known as the University Center for the past 50 years, and beginning this December, we're going to begin a major renovation of this space, not changing the exterior, but completely renovating the interior to make it an even more welcoming and supportive home for our student community. New space for students to engage, a pub and restaurant for students to have their families join them and their professors join them over a meal. Lots of space to take advantage of, so stay tuned. You'll see that transformation happen over the next two years. Let me just end by saying to our parents, thanks for entrusting your students to us. We are thrilled that you and they have chosen Lehigh, and we're thrilled to have you here on campus this weekend. I look forward to chatting with you some more this afternoon through the events of the weekend, and for anyone who's so inclined, we will be gathering right here at the flagpole at 7 a.m. tomorrow for a little over three mile run and jog around this beautiful campus and a chance to talk and get to know one another. Families are welcome and encouraged to show up as our students. I hope to see you all there. Enjoy the barbecue, have a wonderful weekend. Great to have a few minutes to spend with you. All right, thank you, President Helbley. And for those that do show up in the morning, it, it is, from what I understand, it is not a light jog. It's more of a run. I think the average is about a nine minute mile. And tell me how it was after you're done. All right, now for the unveiling of the senior class numbers in front of the Clayton University Center. And this is significant, both in tradition and as a part of our student culture. Our students will flock to those numbers come, spr come spring in their graduation regalia to take their pictures, as will a number of the local high school students. That location, those numbers are in, in many ways iconic. Now to do that, I would like to introduce Anna Smith from the Association of Student Alumni, or ACES. The ACES are charged with carrying on Lehigh traditions. They are here today to help us observe an important one, the ceremony, ceremonial unveiling of the senior class numbers. Give it up for Anna. Well, hi, Lee. Hi. Oh, I'm shorter. Hope you all are having a great time at the Brown and White Barbecue. Um, as uh, um, Mr. Holt said, I am the ASA Vice President, Class of 2023. I am from Clifton, Virginia, studying computer engineering. Also, hi, Mom and Dad. 
It's really great to see so many people showing their school spirit. The numbers on the hill behind the, or below the Clayton University Center have been around for more than 50 years. For a senior, the numbers are a sign of achievement and encouragement. The ceremony to unveil the numbers is a relatively new tradition and a celebration of our class unity. We are excited to be able to carry on this tradition as we will all carry Lehigh with us after we graduate. Before we reveal our senior class numbers, I'd like to thank President Helbley and everyone else involved for this great event. Now, if we can draw your attention to the top of the hill, we'll unveil the numbers with the help of some of the members of the ASAs, Nathaniel Borger, Karis Jang, Jermaine Marshall, Alex Pellet, Meredith Purcell, and Cecily Ritchie. Congratulations, Lehigh Class of 2023. Good luck as you finish your senior year. All right. Thank you. Thank you to all of our speakers. Thank you to our students and family for coming. Please stick around, enjoy the food and festivities, because after the festival, there will be a Lehigh After Dark program right here, featuring a performer and a food trucks. And before we get to that, there was that thing about an announcement. This year at Founders Weekend, which is October 13th through 16th, Founders Weekend, we will be bringing back another Lehigh tradition, the Battle of the Classes. The way it works, each class will be assigned a color to show your class spirit. Purple for first years, green for sophomores, blue for juniors, and orange for seniors. Wear a shirt in your class color to the Founders Festival on October 14th and earn a point. You can register for the event starting tonight. Registration opens on link tonight at midnight. And believe me, you, you will receive plenty of reminders for this, students. Each class member who checks in at the festival, wears a shirt in their class color, or plays a game will get a point. We will also have a family feud game on stage at the festival where you'll get an opportunity to represent your class and earn points. And after the family feud, we'll tally up the points and announce the winning class, and that class will receive a really awesome prize, and it says here in red, insert prize details if known at the time of the event. Let's just say you'll receive a new car or something. All right, so how's that sound? Does that sound all right, students? Battle of the classes. Again, stay tuned. There'll be more instructions coming. Now, that said, one more time, we are going to give it up for the finest band, East of All Points West, the Marching 97. Oh, good story. Uh, everybody move up to protect the music that's behind you. Everybody move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward.
Marching 97, thank you, Marching 97. Fun, fun fact, you'll run into them again tomorrow if you're headed to the football game and Family Fest tailgate over on Goodman campus. I hope everyone is enjoying the barbecue and don't forget again to pick up your brown and white socks at all of our giveaway tables around the lawn. And, you know, it occurs to me as, as, as they leave the stage, one, one great thing about working on the college campus is working with such great students. One bad thing is they graduate every year. This year, this spring, one of the students, because I heard her name earlier, one of the aces, I don't know if she's still here, Cecily Ritchie. Cecily, she's been my co-host for the rally for the past couple years, and she's going to be graduating. So I'm going to be recruiting a new co-host so if you are interested or if you know of a student who might be good in that role, get in touch with Marissa Hartline over in Development Alumni Relations. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have the band, these guys, in about 15 minutes or so. And these guys are really good guys. In the meantime, we're going to turn it over to our DJ Mazid. Tonight's gonna be 